Revit provides us with the ability to show basic grading inside of the software. When I say basic grading, what I mean is, is that you can show the grading before construction and then after construction. To show this grading, the first thing I like to do is create two different views, one for the existing condition and then one for the new condition. So if we come over here to the project browser, come down here to the site, right click on site, and then let's duplicate that view. After selecting on duplicate, we'll now have a copy of that original view. Let's right click on site copy one and rename it and call it existing site and click on OK. So now we have two views for the site, one which is existing and one which will be our new site. Here inside of the existing site, what I'd like to do now is come over here to properties, scroll down toward the very bottom, and we can see that we have a phase filter associated with it. Well, let's change that from new construction to be existing and then just move our cursor out here. Well, since everything was originally drawn inside of new construction, it looks like everything has went away. And that's okay for what it is that we're doing. Now, the next thing I'd like to do is go to our site plan, double click on site. Then underneath the massing and site tools, we need to use the command called graded region to create two separate sites, one for the existing site and one for the new site. When you select on graded region, it's going to give us a warning saying that we have two different options available to us. The first option is to create a new topo surface exactly like the existing one. That means all the contours will be exactly the same. The other option is to create a new topo surface based on the perimeter points only, which wipes out all the contours on the inside and just gives you the perimeter of your site. Then you can start over by placing contours here inside of your site. Well, what I'd like to do is the top option, create a new topo surface exactly like the existing one. So select on that, then click on the site, and it'll say the surface being graded was created in the current phase. Grading it will result in it being created and destroyed in the same phase. Basically, what it's trying to tell us is that this site should have originally been created underneath the existing site. If it had been, it would have automatically created a new site inside of our site view. But since we did it the other way around, it's saying that we'll have two sites, both in the exact same location, in the same plan. And for what we're doing, that's OK, because we'll change the properties of one of the sites to make it an existing site here in just a moment. So the next thing I'd like to do is come over here and just click the little X and then select on the big green check mark. And now we have two sites in the exact same spot. Now what I'd like to do is select on one of the sites and we can see that this site, its face created was a new construction and it's never been demolished. That's exactly what we want for our current site that we're in. This will be our new construction site. So we need to leave this part of the site alone for right now. So that we can find the other site, I wanna hide this site. So with it highlighted, come down here to the eyeglasses and select on hide element. This will temporarily hide that site from our view. Now, the next thing I'd like to do is select on the other site, the site that was just created. And we can see that its phase created is a new construction. Phase demolished is considered also new construction. Well, what I'd like to do is change both of those phases to be existing. So it was around in the existing phase, and it's going to get demolished in the existing phase. Now it's telling us that these subregions, in order for them to exist in the existing site, will also have to be changed to be that phase. And that's OK. So just select on OK. And now it looks like our site is completely gone. But the reality of it is, is that it's just taking that site and put it back in the existing phase. And it no longer exists here in our new construction phase. If we want to see our current site, what we need to do is come down here to the eyeglasses, then select on Reset Temporary Hide Isolate to unhide that site that we originally hid. Now, if we go to the existing site view, you'll remember that it originally looked like it was blank. Well, because we changed this site to become the existing site, it's now showing up underneath our existing site view. And it has all the same contours as the original site that we first started working with. Now, if we want to change the properties of our current site, our new site, we can do that. Come up here to site and open up the site view. Select on our site. And now we have the option to edit the surface. If we select on edit surface, we can now modify each of these points that are associated with this topo surface. If we zoom in here, a good example of that would be is right now we have water flowing down 
and it's hitting this spot in the building. So we have a lot of water probably building up in this corner of the building. Maybe it's flowing down ever so gently back into this direction. But what I'd really like to do is add another point out here. Well, I could do that by either selecting on place point and then just picking a point out here at the right elevation, or I can select one of these existing points, such as this point over here, and then copying it over to this location. Right now, by the way, we can see that this point is at a six foot 10 elevation. Well, if we come over here and click on copy, pick a spot, copy it over to here, Notice how the contours have now adjusted. It's now six foot 10 over here as well. So now the water can come down here, hit against the building and then slope down in this direction as well and not just all be forced to come swirling around this corner of the building. If we wanted to adjust any of these other points, we could. We could select on one of these points and then change this elevation to be something different, maybe a little higher, maybe a little bit lower, all in an effort to get the water to drain away. Whenever we're done adjusting our points, the next thing that we could do is hit escape on the keyboard, then come up here and we can either select on the big green check mark to finish off the surface, or we can do what's called simplify the surface, which allows us to get rid of some of these points which are really close to one another. Really, there's probably not much use in having several points with the exact same dimension right next to each other. And that's what simplify surface allows us to do it gets rid of some of those points with the same dimensions, which are very close to one another. If we select on Simplify Surface, we can see right now its accuracy is every three inches. That may be okay. Let's see if I would adjust this to be every inch if anything changes. Click on OK. We notice that a couple of the points have disappeared. If I click on Simplify Surface and now make this number be bigger, like every nine inches, click on OK. Notice how more of these points have went away. So basically it starts to clean up these points and make the overall surface that's created inside of Revit more simple for Revit to deal with. Less points, simpler surface, means it's easier for Revit to handle that kind of surface and display that surface. Whenever we're done making our changes, we can come up here to the big green check mark and finish our changes up. Now, if we go back to the existing site, we'll be able to see that we have this little jagged edge here, another jagged edge here, another jagged edge here come in here to the site. We still have one of those jagged edges. The building is covering up some of it here. If we come over here to the existing site, comes up, comes down, comes around. Come in here to the site, it comes up. It doesn't come down, it comes up again, comes around and comes down. So you can have different sites in your existing as well as your new construction phases by leveraging the graded region tool.